y'all make me laugh. Thank you, buddy. Go black. Once you go black, you ain't coming back. <laughs> it's a rap jack. Go black. All right, buddy. Don't forget, chocolate and vanilla, we belong together. running with my friend Ben this morning. Ben is a faster, better, gooder runner than I am, so he keeps me on my toes in a really big way. He and I are meeting at the apex of the Manhattan Bridge, and I'm late. All right, I am now at the apex of the Manhattan Bridge. No sign of Ben. I guess I will simply keep running and go find the man. It is indeed. It's Ben. Which way are we going? Brooklyn or Manhattan? What do you want? Manhattan or Brooklyn? Let's go Brooklyn. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ben, I'm putting you in my vlog this morning. I was explaining to the viewers that you are a far superior runner than me. Oh, that's not true. And you keep me on my toes. That's right. Keep it honest. You gotta keep it honest. <laughs> He's so fast. See you soon. I'll see you soon. Good run. Ten miles at a 7.59 pace. Lovely, lovely run this morning. Who got a new water cup? Who got a new cup? You got a new cup. Show me how it works. How's it work? There you go. Today is Q&A day. Uh, let's do a little experiment and watch how quick I get questions after I do a tweet. Okay, ready? Tweet. More. This is why I miss so many people's questions. Every refresh is like 50 more questions. John wants to know, who would you love more than anything to get a compliment from? You know, John, I have a rule and that is to ignore praise and embrace criticism. So I'm really not, I never try to seek compliments. It's generally a dead end. This is kind of a ridiculous question, but Ben wants to know, Casey, how do you live so philosophically? I don't really know what you mean by that, but I try to pay attention always. I pay attention to everything I read, everything I hear, everything I see. And then I ignore about 99.9 .9 repeating percent of that and whatever is left over, I hang on to for dear life. And I think this philosophical living that you're speaking of is just me sort of sharing the aggregate of what I've absorbed over the course of my life. Chi wants to know, if you have a chance to travel more, where would you go and why? Chi, I have so many opportunities to travel right now and it pains me to, but I say no to all of it. I have two priorities right now, family and my new company. And if travel doesn't fall into one of those two categories, I say no. Mel wants to know, what's your advice to kids struggling in school? Just like anything else in life, this too shall pass. Josh wants to know, what's the craziest way you've broken a camera? Probably with a gigantic rock, smashing the camera like this on the side of the Zambezi River on the border of Zambia and Zimbabwe when I had a critical failure exactly when I needed the camera. It had to be destroyed. When will Carly Kloss upload her first YouTube video? Okay, I'll let Carly do the talking here and I will do a whole vlog before she launches her YouTube channel. Just know Carly Kloss on YouTube is gonna be awesome. Why does Owen work in a donut shop? Why don't you get him a cool job? Okay, let me spend a little bit of time picking this one apart. So my son Owen has his first job right now and he works at a Krispy Kreme donut place at the cash register selling people donuts, which is a tough job. 
And yes, I could make a phone call and I could get him some cushy, easy, fun, cool job at like a production company doing something totally awesome. But I'm his father and I try to do what's best for him at all times. And what's not good for a kid to have as his first job is something cushy and cool. Beyond learning the value of a dollar and beyond learning what the suck means of working in a place like that, he will forever for the rest of his life, no matter how successful or rich or famous he might become, he will forever treat people that work behind the counter with the level of respect that they deserve because he will appreciate and understand how hard that job is. That's one of the reasons. The bigger reason, two days ago or three days ago, I did a whole vlog about sort of life's principles and what it means to always fixate on what do you want from life and then figure out how to execute that. And a lot of people asked, a lot of people replied with, What's the best way to find your passion? What's the best way to find your calling in life? And I have an answer to that. And I don't know that this answer is right, but this is an answer I firmly believe in. The best way to find what you love in life is by doing something you hate. A cushy job, a cool job, a job that you like is, is comfortable. That comfort breeds complacency and that complacency breeds stagnation. So you just kind of stay there because it's a fine job even though it may not be your dream or your passion. And then all kinds of shit happens. She gets pregnant, you buy a car, there's a mortgage payment, you have a house, you have this cushy life. And before you know it, you have these handcuffs, these golden handcuffs that is your day job that you didn't love, you never loved. It was just an easy job, but now there's no way out of it. And all of that happens by doing something that's cushy and easy. If you get a job that absolutely sucks, something you hate doing, you will spend every minute on the clock fixating and fantasizing about what you wish you were doing. Where did I find my passion for filmmaking and my drive to do what I do in life? I found it in the bottom of the nastiest, burnt up clam chowder pot ever, working in a shitty seafood restaurant where I'd have to dig so deep into that pot to scrub the bottom that it would get all over my arms and all over my shirt and I just reeked of stale seafood and it never came off my body. But doing that for years, 50 hours a week, every week for like five years, really galvanized for me what I wished I could be doing. I fantasized about having a job that I loved, about doing something I was super passionate about, about working for myself and not having some asshole boss telling me what to do all the time. I, I obsessed over it. But if I had been in some cushy, some sweet, some fun job that my dad got for me, None of that drive would have been there. So yeah, Owen works in a donut store. And what he will get from working in a donut shop, what he will get from a shitty job is invaluable. And he might not appreciate that, and whoever wrote me that comment might not appreciate that, but believe me, at some point in his life, he will look back and he will see that that was one of the most influential jobs he could have ever had, I hope. Otherwise, he'll hate me forever for making him work in a donut store. Okay. That's it for q and I have a photo shoot in this office in like 45 minutes. It should be kind of fun, and I will vlog about it. This photo shoot is happening now. Hi, I'm Casey. Jake. Jake. Yeah. Renee. Renee, How's nice going? to meet you. What are we doing today? You guys are sure you don't want to try it? I, I mean, I'll try it, but I'm gonna... Go, Jack, go. You got it, Jack, you got it. Awesome, so we're yeah. good? You guys yeah. got what you yeah. need? We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, thank you, thank nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for thank tolerating you. me. Thank you, Bye, guys. Right, bye. Okay, leaving the office now. <laughs> Trying to leave the office. Candace came to visit. And now she's just hanging out with Matt. And there's Dylan Steinberg. Hey guys. Hey. You're everybody's favorite, Dylan. Hey everybody, thank you. Hey Candace. Good to see this you. This place gives me nightmares. So Candace, let's talk about your short skirt. I think it's actually a shirt and not a dress. Candace, it's my walk home that I try to have an ender for the vlog. So I need like something, say something clever or something to happen that I can end the vlog on. The end. Pretty good.